let's get into why Hillary Clinton really lost the election. It has nothing to do with Bernie Sanders. It has nothing to do with Bernie Sanders supporters. Okay? It has to do with she's Republican. And the Democrats are Republican. That's why. And the Democrats will never win another election if they don't smarten up. Hey guys, welcome to the Progressive Social Warriors. We speak truth to power. We speak truth to the Republican and Democratic Party, but mostly the Democratic Party, because that's why we have Trump. So, shocking news. Hillary Clinton blames Bernie Sanders for losing the election. Wow, that's a big surprise, folks. So, I'm going to get into this video really quickly because I got a lot to talk I got a lot to talk about with why she really lost the election instead of blaming Bernie and Bernie supporters for not voting for her. Maybe she should have maybe she should have been a, a real Democrat. Maybe she should have been progressive and not Republican because let's face it, the Democratic Party and not just Hillary Clinton, all of them are Republican. They're all Republican light. There's no such thing as a left party in America anymore. So let's get into what Miss Hillary Clinton has to say about her loss in the 2016 election. I believe that your staff conducted some autopsies of the election and I'm looking for lessons learned and in particular, I mean, do you, I, to what extent do you assign blame to uh, Bernie Sanders, to the media for focusing on emails? How much time do, do we have? <laughs> 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 so funny. So l l let's assume that she didn't really mean Bernie because he put in the emails and he put in the the media in with that question, right? So let's just, let's let's just give her the benefit of benefit of the doubt that it wasn't really Bernie that she meant that lost her the election. Let's see what else she has to say. To uh, Jim, Co to President Obama yeah. for not no, raising not the him. issue of the no, not him. No, not him. President Obama. No, not him. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> How much time do we have left? And I'm I, and I'm over the all Hillary Bernie thing. Believe me, I've I've I got sick, like literally sick. I mean, like fever, sore throat. I was so depressed that Bernie didn't win. I was so invested in Bernie. I was so motivated. Tried everything I possibly could to do to help Bernie win that election. And when he lost, I, I was so depressed. My immune system just dropped, and I got I literally got sick. So. It, I, I felt it hard when Bernie lost because I love Bernie with all my heart, man, with all my heart. And it was sad, sad. And, and I know he's getting up there in age, but I'm hoping that he, he takes another run at it, even though he's older, because nothing's going to stop him. Nothing will stop him if he runs again. No media, no, no, no smears that they try to put against him. Nothing's going to, nothing's going to, no Trump, no nothing. He of the Russia ties more, or to yourself. Secretary Clinton. So uh, let's get into why, let's get into why Hillary Clinton really lost the election. It has nothing to do with Bernie Sanders. It has nothing to do with Bernie Sanders supporters. Okay? It has to do with she's Republican. And the Democrats are Republican. That's why. And the Democrats will never win another election if they don't smarten up. Because progressives, most progressives aren't going to vote for them. I wouldn't have voted for Hillary. As horrible as Trump is, as much as Trump is a disaster and a moron and an idiot and a clown, I still wouldn't have voted for him. I can't vote. I can't vote for someone or, or a party that believes in the stuff that they believe in and, 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 and the stuff that they do. I couldn't get myself to vote for that. That's just me personally. I don't. I don't begrudge anyone who decided that Trump was just too horrible and that we, they had no choice. That's fine. Hey, that's your choice, but that wouldn't have been my choice. That's me just personally. So let's get into why she really lost. And let's start right here. And Senator Sanders favors what he calls Medicare for all. Now, you said that what he is proposing would tear up Obamacare and replace it. Secretary Clinton, is it really fair to say that Bernie Sanders wants to kill Obamacare? 
Well, Andrea, I am absolutely committed to universal health care. I've worked on this for a long time. People may remember that uh, I took on the health insurance uh, industry back in the 90s, and I didn't quit until we got the children's health insurance program that insures 8 million kids. And I let, let, remember what she just said there, that she was for universal health care in the 90s, and she was. And I'm going to show you why in 2016 she wasn't for universal health care anymore, and she was for the Republican Mitt Romney care that got that got put through. No wonder, no wonder, that's why Trump couldn't even get his policy. They already have a Republican health care plan, so... <laughs> I certainly respect Senator Sanders' intentions, but when you're talking about health care, the details really matter, matter, and therefore we have been raising questions about the nine bills that he introduced over 20 years uh, as to how they would work and what would be the impact on people's health care. This man put nine bills to get universal health care. Man, how can you not love this guy? How can you not love this guy? Nine bills. How is it going to help? I don't know. Everyone's going to have health care. No one's going to have to worry about insurances. No one's going to have to worry about co-pays. No one's going to have to worry about going bankrupt. Man. But here's what I believe. The Democratic Party in the United States worked since Harry Truman to get the Affordable Care Act passed. We finally have a path to universal health care. We've accomplished so much already. I do not want to see the Republicans repeal it, and I don't want to see us start over again. So now let's see how you're supposed to answer this question. Secretary Clinton didn't answer your question. Damn right. Because what her campaign was saying, Bernie Sanders, who has fought for universal health care for my entire life, he wants to end Medicare, end Medicaid, end the children's health insurance program. That is nonsense. What a Medicare for all program does is finally provide in this country health care for every man, woman, and child as a right. Right now, what we have to deal with is the fact that 29 million people still have no health insurance. We are paying the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs, getting ripped off. And here's the important point. We are spending far more per person on health care than the people of any other country. Before you... And maybe another reason why uh, Bernie supporters were upset with you is because you you guys kept, you and your cronies kept lying, like saying that Bernie Sanders wanted to take away Obamacare and, and, and there'd be nothing left. Come on, you see what I mean? Bernie didn't have to lie. Bernie just, and Bernie didn't have to talk about her emails. Bernie just had to stick to the issues because Bernie's right on every issue. He believes in every issue. He was, he's been fighting for those issues his whole career. He hasn't flip-flopped. He doesn't take money from corporations. That's a guy you follow. That's a guy you know is honest. And when you and when you go around lying about him, yeah, you're gonna piss off his supporters. And then to have them come around now and come support you, it, it, it's gonna be pretty hard. And you made it very difficult for those people to do that. We're for it. Now you're against it. But we actually have an answer for that. Here's why she's against it. Ah, the chart that Hillary Clinton would cringe over. Perhaps she shouldn't have done it if she didn't want people to talk about it. So Hillary made $2.8 million from just 13 speeches to the health industry. And, and this is why people don't vote for you. Vote for you, vote for, for, for Democrats in general, because all of you do this. So she was for health care, and then the health industry got a hold of her and said, here you go, take all this money. And all of a sudden, she's for Mitt Romney care. And I call it R Mitt Romney care because that's what it is. <laughs> Mitt Romney care, a Republican health care plan that everyone's fighting for now. A ridiculous, stupid ass health care plan that's useless. And universal health care is the only way. So, okay, we got more though. This country needs to move toward a living wage. It is not a radical idea to say that if somebody works 40 hours a week, that person should not be living in poverty. It is not a radical idea to say that a single mom should be earning enough money to take care of her kids. So I believe that over the next few years, not tomorrow, but over the next few years, we have got to move the minimum wage to a living wage, 15 bucks an hour, and I apologize to nobody for that. And I apologize to no one for that. 
How can you not love that man? How? How? How did that guy lose? How did he lose, man? I know how he lost, but, oh, man. said seriously, he is the foremost expert in our country on the minimum wage uh, and what its effects uh, are. And the overall message is that it doesn't result in job loss. However, what Alan Kruger said in the piece you're referring to is that if we went to $15, there are no international comparisons. That is why... I There's no international comparisons. Yes, yeah, so, and... America is supposed to be number one. It's supposed to be the standard bearer of things. There's international comparisons for why healthcare is better than your healthcare, but you don't seem to be fighting for that. But now you want to look around and see if there's anyone else making $15 a minimum wage and saying, oh, we can't do that because no one else does. Well, why don't you say, well, why don't we do universal healthcare? Because everyone else does. No, 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 no. See, see how it's always flipped to not to not do the right thing. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. I support a twelve dollar no national kidding. federal minimum wage. I don't take money from big. And we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going on on why she really lost this election. Thanks. I don't get personal speaking fees from Goldman Sachs. What I would do. <laughs> what? I you see that asshole? Boo! How's there people like that who would boo that? That guy must be uh, pretty rich. What an idiot. Clinton, help the voter understand the daylight between the two of you here. Well, there's no daylight on the basic uh, premise that there should be no bank too big to fail and no individual too powerful to jail. We agree on that. Uh, no, you don't agree on that. Sorry to tell you, lady. Okay? You do not agree on that. Because you would never do it. You would never jail. You would never do anything to any banks or any Wall Street. But where we disagree is the on everything comments that Senator Sanders has made that don't just affect me. I can take that. But he's criticized President Obama for taking donations from Wall Street. And President Obama has led our country out of the Great Recession. Senator Sanders. And, and, and good that he called out Obama. What's Obama? Obama's untouchable? Who cares? Damn right, Obama's not progressive. He, could, he, did, he didn't do anything that he was supposed to do. He had a chance to do universal health care and, and he gave you guys Mitt Romney care. Why? Because he's bought off, just like she's bought off, just like they're all bought off. Called him weak, disappointing. One of the things that said... See what I mean? She's got a... She's got a she call, he called him weak and disappointing. Like... She doesn't, she, she couldn't stick to the issues because she was losing on all the issues. How is she going to stick to the issues when Bernie Sanders is on the right side of every issue and she wasn't? And I say she, but I mean the Democratic Party in general. Senator Sanders points to, and a lot of your critics point to, is you made three speeches for Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. You were paid $675,000 mm -hmm. for three speeches. Was that a mistake? I mean, was that a bad error in judgment? Look, I made speeches to lots of groups. I told them what I thought. I answered questions. But did you have to be paid $675,000? Well, I don't know. Um, that's what they offered. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, every every Secretary of State that I know has done that. But it's that's usually once their office and not running for an office again. Well, I didn't must know. Have known. To be honest, I wasn't I wasn't committed to running. I didn't I didn't know whether I would. You didn't or not. think you were going to run for president again? I, I didn't. I Rocking. And just like the healthcare, universal healthcare that she doesn't fight for no more because the healthcare industry got a hold of her, is the same thing. She would never do anything to the financial industry because they also ha have a hold on her. And the Democratic Party will never change because they keep getting funded by these people. And they love it. And they don't want to do Bernie Sanders. Let's, let's get the people to support us. They don't want it. They don't care about it. They don't even think about it. They think that anyone who thinks that's crazy. And, and this is coming to an end, but this is pretty much another reason why she lost the election. I'm wondering, will you pledge to not um, use fracking if you become president? No. No.
fracking can lead to environmental pollution, including, but not limited to, the contamination of a water supply. Do you support fracking? Secretary Clinton. You know, I don't support it when any locality or any state is against it, number one. I don't support it when the... Let's remember the WikiLeak emails came out. I'm pretty sure it was the WikiLeak emails that showed how she was pushing fracking all over the world. Okay, so she's full of shit with, with the stuff that she's talking about right now. Uh, release of methane or contamination of water is present. I don't support it, number three, unless we can require that anybody who fracks has to tell us exactly what chemicals they are using. So by the time we get through all of my conditions, I do not think there will be many places in America where fracking will continue to take place. Senator Sanders, you, you, my answer, you... My answer is a lot shorter. No, I do not support fracking. To Secretary Clinton's point, there are a number of Democratic governors in many states who say that fracking can be done safely and that it's helping their economies. Are they wrong? Yes. <laughs> you know... And that's how you answer questions. That's how you answer environmental questions. That's how you answer financial questions. That's how you answer health healthcare questions. Okay. Oh my God. And I'm and I know the the whole Hillary Bernie thing. Let's get over it. And I, believe me, I don't even want to talk about it no more. I'm I'm past it. I'm ready to just have progressives take over the party. And never mind. Hillary Clinton and her cronies, because they're they're over, they're done, they're trying, they're they're grasping at straws to try and hold on to whatever they can. But we're coming for them anyways. But I'm just doing this because Hillary Clinton and her cronies still have the majority of the power in the Democratic in the Democratic Party, and they're not letting go, and they're doubling and tripling down on their horrible policies and and the way they think, and. Hopefully, 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 God, God, please let Bernie have the strength to run again, man. Because I will do everything in my power once again to have that guy run the country. And and, and down ticket progressives all the way down and restructure the whole country. And get universal health care and paid leave for women. It's just sad. Don't blame yourself. Blame Bernie. Blame the Bernie supporters. Blame Bernie for... For sticking to the issues, because that's what Bernie did. He stuck to the issues. It's just Bernie was on the right side of the issues, and Hillary wasn't, and the Democratic Party is not on the right side of issues. They they sometimes they sometimes give lip service to it, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to their voting, we all know how they vote. Anyways, I just wanted to uh, point out some of the hypocrisies. Of what's happened of, of the Democratic Party, and let's hope Bernie runs again. I hope he does. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Remember, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and follow the Justice Democrats. All the links will be in the description, so you don't have very far to go. Thanks.